It's a very interesting job. I mean, you can take it to the next step you want. You can be a very comfortable um, cinematographer going from, to work every day and, and being competent, or you can create this, this difficult world for you, which is, you know, you enter the profession as an artist and you try to express yourself and perhaps uh, enlighten some of the viewers with the possibilities of visual language. Um, let's give, let's give yeah. some questions. Well, you know, that's, that's, that's written in the book, you know, I'm, it's, it's not much to talk about, you know, I mean, it's just a metaphor from the book and you can take it however you want it. Yeah. I mean, if you read Campbell and, and Campbell will explain to you, you know, you, you're supposed to understand the symbols based on, you know, it means different to me, it means different to you. I mean, it's really funny, we, we are very, very interesting creatures, you know, we respond to very kind of basic images, like in the butterfly movie, everyone responds to the moment, to the movie, to the moment when the eye is being sort out, you know, which I thought was such a kind of like a kind of a mediocre image, but it's such a horrifying, horrifying image that we, we can all identify with. Same with the girl in the little red black little, little black dress. You know, it's yeah. I saw a question over here. Right. I mean, it's very interesting because Poland, we, in Poland, we definitely had strong censorships, but the movies of the 70s were the movies that would reevaluate and uh, re-examine social political makeup of the society, which means mainly, <coughs> mainly United States society. Uh, uh, American filmmakers were interested in social political trends, and, and they would transform that, transform that into, into movies. Of course, frequently, or almost always, those movies would portray the, the America in a some in, a, in some way, in a, in a negative way, and that was very much embraced by the communists. It was embraced because they were, it would show the America as a, as a country of social and political injustice, a uh, country of, 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 of people who were suffering, a country of, full of people who were uh, are not happy with the uh, current situation, and we were allowed to see those movies. Of course, Taxi Driver, and Panic in the Needle Park, and Vanishing Point, and, and Easy Rider, all those movies that, that, that were so Reflective of what the what the society was was the, the times that the society was experiencing, we were, we were we embraced those movies. That was America for me. When someone I came to America in the nineteen eighties, when I when I got out of the airplane in JFK, I was looking for that. I have not found it. <laughs> that was America of you know of, be, of people becoming very much self-centered, aware of their uh, bodies. The the, the fitness uh, the fitness uh, uh, trend just started. So I really, I came to the country thinking I would be living in the 60s and 70s, and, 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 uh, and I still like it, nothing changed, but hopefully, yeah. I don't like it right now, but... I, I should have announced this earlier, I don't, know, I don't know if Ty Warren is still in the theater, but uh, he is, uh, Janos at the end is going to pick out who we ask the best question, and, yeah, and Ty's going to buy him dinner, right? Oh, yeah. But, you know, it was an amazing period because we've seen, you know, I mean, that was an amazing period in, in, in world cinema because we've seen movies from, from Germany, from Sweden, from all over the world, you know. They always had to be somehow uh, negative of the, of the uh, 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 capitalistic system and, and uh, they were presented to us as a negative portrayal of, of, the, other, of the other system, but, but we knew it's just a, it's just a, the reason the, the movies were being, the reason the movies were, were the, the, the reason that the filmmakers were able to make the movies were, were the reason of, of, of freedom, you know, they were free to make those movies, they were free to reevaluate re re the, 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 the political uh, system uh, that, they were, that they were living in. You know. None of those films were, were being created in Eastern Europe. I mean, you always have to make a movie that was pro-government pro and pro-communist. Pro, 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 pro you know. You had a question over here. Yes, I believe that, but correct me if I'm wrong, the photographer that you said inspired you, he had a lot of his photographs confiscated and he had to sew his negatives into his clothes. No, I don't think so. This is a guy who made move, who took two pictures in 1930s. Right. And, and yeah, he's, he, and, yeah, that's, that's not the guy. It, it's not the same guy? Well, oh, uh, but, but my question is, uh, I thought that might have been the same photographer. But have you ever um, had any of your film confiscated? No, no, I'm not. Oh, okay. No, I've made all my movies in America, <laughs> so. <laughs> but wait until after this next election. I had some marijuana <laughs> confiscated. <laughs> Over there. There was a 
understand the amino is a very simple set. We just build a set, latrine set. We fill it up with, with oatmeal and, and water. Um, we have created this huge, really, really strong beam of light that would, that would, that would come in. I mean, the movie was all metaphorical, kind of, you know, that particular uh, race of, 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 of being, being, being singled by the Nazis, but also being singled by the God, you know, so that, so that light and the darkness is constantly present. And, and magic happens in that movie. There was another scene where, where the one-handed <coughs> mechanic, um, uh, Rafe is trying to shoot him, and obviously the gun doesn't fire a couple of times, so finally he smashes his face with a back of the gun. And that's another thing, the miracle, ha the miracle that happened. You know, somehow there's a higher, uh, higher power that, that prevailed. And same with the light. I mean, you wanted to isolate that person who was hiding from, from the Nazis by, by, by illuminating him with the light, giving him hope, giving the audience sense of perhaps everything's going to be okay, perhaps he will survive, you know. So you, might, you, you really operate on a very basic uh, psychological level. You know, the red is, the warm colors are, 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 are usually positive, the blue is nostalgic and sad. But what happens when you reverse that? What happens when you have a you know, scene with that normally you would shoot in that way, but, but you want to go into blue? Or what happens if, if it's a, a comedy and, and you start creating more dramatic lighting? And you realize people embrace that as, you know? Because we, we, we have certain expectations, but, but also the, the job of a filmmaker is to, you know, expose viewers to different expectations. I want, I want to ask you about, in one of my early interviews with you, you told me about a movie that influenced you when you were very young man, kind of community park. Do you remember about that? Well, I, mean, I remember that. I mean, look, the whole world was fascinated by America. The whole world, the whole Eastern Europe was fascinated by the drug culture. I mean, the, you know, all the biggest rock, and rock, rock guys were dying of drug overdose. We want to do the same thing. We want to do drugs, we want to do rock and roll. We want to be Americans. How do you become American? You know, you wear jeans, you, you, you make as much love as you can, you, you travel and you do drugs, you know. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's our perception of America in the 70s, you know. That's why those movies were embraced by the communist regime, because they were showing the America of, of decadence, you know. And we're going to add a mic here. And, and I kept on, I'm sorry, we're going to add a mic. you right here. We're going to pass this around so, so we can hear people better. And I have one quick okay. question to add to that. When you're looking at an image, are you, do you go with the philosophy of adding light to get the image or taking light away to get the image? I have no idea. <laughs> it's just automatic. You look at it and say, okay, this is what I want. No, 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 no. It's just, it's, uh, you know, I don't know how it happened. It, it's, it's not automatic, right? Every, every, every shot in the movie is different. I have seen uh, Diving Bell and the Butterfly three times. I'm very moved, you and your sense of claustrophobia that you create. I know I'm not supposed to ask how, but the eyeball, the eyeball, what you created, you put the camera behind, and could you talk a little bit about the last image of the landslide reversing itself metaphorically for you? Well, that you should, you should talk to Julian about this because that was his idea, and, and, and I can't really speak about uh, the symbols that he created. I can talk uh, very briefly about the eyeball shot. It's a very simple shot. You just get, we just got a lens that's a, that's a close focus that allows you to focus, you know, in a very short distance. We got a piece of uh, latex. We attach the latex to the lens. We we cut a little hole. We attach eyebrows. I had a little flashlight that was pointing towards towards the the, the eyelash towards the eyebrow towards the eye. And the guy with a needle sewing it up, you know. It's as simple as that. You know. um, of course, we can all identify with it because you can imagine the pain the character has to go through, you know. There's a question back there. So we have to bring it down here. Yeah, I wonder what it was. Latex, latex yeah, latex. Frame, or you put it on the camera? No, we got a little frame attached to the, to the lens and you just stretched it out. 